Do you ever have an idea that you know is just so stupid, but you go ahead and do it anyways? Yeah, me too. I'll get to that in a sec, but first some context. You see, I only just got into fishing last year, and while last year I managed to catch and cook some fish, this year so far, I've only managed to catch some fish. That's why today I've decided to do a challenge. Fish or die. Fish or dino. Fish or dinosaur eggs oatmeal challenge. That's my ideas. That's what I got. <laughs> if I don't catch a fish and eat it, all I have is about 1200 calories of dinosaur eggs oatmeal. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with dinosaur eggs oatmeal, basically it's like an oatmeal for kids. It's like one step up above baby food. So if I don't catch fish and eat it, all I got is dinosaur eggs oatmeal. Yep. I know. That's a good sized lake. I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna troll him. Oh man, it's just nice to be out, you know? Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, that's a snag, yeah. I mean, I've been out here for like 30 minutes, but I'm already kind of nervous in my abilities to catch a fish. I'm gonna go try topwater again. This is a weedless lure that's shaped like a little mouse. I like this lure because it's weedless and there's a lot of lily pads around here. But I'm pretty determined to catch a fish. I don't want to eat dino eggs all night. Oh, 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 that was a bite. Hell yeah. Trying to be worried. <laughs> no. Dang, you have one good bite. I'm gonna fish top water with this guy. It spins, it's pretty cool. Yes! We got one! Woo! Oh, baby. There we go. What's that? That's really weird. Oh, did that just happen? Oh, nope. Yeah. Uh, that was weird. It had its like bone sticking out. That didn't just happen though. I didn't do that. That freaked me out. Maybe I should have kept that fish. I don't know, man. Ah! Okay, we caught one though. Maybe I shouldn't have let that go. I don't know. I'm gonna get this stringer ready. Never actually used one of these before. All right, well we caught one. That was not a bad fish either. Maybe I should've just kept it. <sighs> Screw it, let's do that again. <gasps> Dude, I was like, what the hell is on top of that thing? Oh yeah. Oh, we eating you, buddy. Sorry. Sweet. Open wide. There we go. Through the stringer. Oh, sorry, buddy. Oh, a little messy. A little messy. Sweet, now I can walk my fish. Or not. <laughs> no! What did I do wrong? <laughs> I thought I'd better, ah. Oh. Well, that's what you get. That's funny. I was like, wait a minute, like, doofus, I guess, lesson learned. That was my first time ever trying to put, <laughs> fish on one of these things and it's quite simple you stick this through the gill plate and then you put it through this ring here and then you have the fish and you can leave it in the water as you canoe around tie this end to my canoe I don't know what I did wrong but it was obviously very silly 
next time we'll get we'll get another one that first fish i really should have just capped and put down you know it had something wrong with it it honestly spooked me a little bit sometimes they have like parasites on them so when i saw that fish with the bone protruding from it i thought it was maybe like cancer or some shit and i didn't really want to eat that i can't believe that last fish like oh, so dumb i won't make that mistake again Power bait with just a jig head. Williams number four wobbler. Man. The first fish was just, I don't know why I let that go. That was the first fish I caught. I shouldn't have let it go. The second fish, what a blunder. I have like five hours of daylight left, but I haven't eaten in six hours, so I'm pretty hungry. I'd rather not eat the oatmeal. I think that would be uh, more, uh, more rewarding, you know? <laughs> oh, it's right there. I need to keep my cool. The fish can smell my desperation. It's got a whole lot windier. So behind me is one of the campsites that I could stay at tonight. It's the only one on this lake. It's super buggy and not very nice. Jeez. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm way too invested in this right now. Man, it's 6.30, two and a half hours left of sunlight. It's hard for me to not beat myself up for those two losses. The first one I should not have let go. The second one, keep the fish in the boat. <sighs> yeah. I'm gonna set up camp, get some firewood, get everything kind of organized, and then give it another go. But I'm having my serious doubts that I'm gonna catch a fish tonight. Beware, bear in area, May 22nd, 2021. So that was a month and a half ago. So we're good. I'm really not super pumped about my decision making today. I really need to let this sink in. I'm not gonna give up yet. That was a bite. Oh. Don't worry, little fishy. I'm not gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh shit. We got one. We got one. We got one and it's a big one. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna eat you. I'm sorry, dude. Uh. Uh. That is a big fish. Put that fish on the stringer and I'm gonna see if I can catch another one, maybe a smaller one quickly. And if uh, I can catch a smaller one, I'm gonna let him go just because that's a big fish. Screw it, that's dinner. Yeah, we're getting dinner. That's dinner, dinner's here. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Woo -hoo! About 16 and a half. That's a big fish. Okay, that thing's dead. 
Oh, it's a weird feeling. I know to a lot of you guys that these fillets look absolutely terrible, but I'm pretty proud of them. What's great is some people leave grills at some campsites, which is nice. So we got a grill. Yeah, nice. I mean, what can I say? I'm pretty happy. Like, that was a long day of trying to catch a fish. And then just at the end there. Oh my God. I didn't cook this fish very well. I didn't fillet this fish very well. All my fishing today wasn't very well. But hey man, mission accomplished. All right, I'm gonna clean up and get into my tent because the bugs are uh, not fun right now. No! No! Oh man. Yeah, a lot of them got in. That was uh, not gonna happen any other way. <sighs> Bummer. This is horrifying. It's kinda overwhelming. Kinda a little overwhelming. I got a lot of them in here. I think I got most of them inside the tent, so. That's good, but there's no chance of me getting out of this tent tonight. <laughs> I should just open the door, let all the mosquitoes in. And I'll get a nice picture of it, and it'll be like some sort of art installation. Pain for beauty. Life could be easier, but it wouldn't be as fun. This is flirting with a really, really crappy situation, but it's only kind of crappy. Life could be easier, but it wouldn't be as fun. I have never, ever seen mosquitoes this bad before. That is the worst I've ever seen him. So I got a weather report on my GPS and it's supposed to rain like really heavy all day. I was not expecting that. I feel like such a bozo because I didn't bring my rain jacket. That's like one of the number one things you shouldn't forget. So that sucks. Can't believe I forgot my rain jacket. So I think my strategy is just pack everything up really quick, get in the canoe and get out. It's very wet in here. Why do I have to make such poor decisions? I'm so unprepared for this, I left my clothes hanging to dry outside. Man, this is kind of a disaster. I want to have uh, dry clothes at the car. So I, I'm going to suffer for the next hour and a bit in the cold so that I have dry sweater and dry pants at the car. Wow, so you guys have seen me make a series of really poor judgment calls on this trip. A whole bunch of lessons learned, my goodness. Curing food and just general survival and just camping. I've made some poor decisions. Forgetting my raincoat at home was uh, definitely a huge blunder. Not checking the weather enough either, but it just goes to show you how quickly things can change when you're out in the woods. And if this is any other time of the year, this could be a very dangerous situation. Mind you, I probably wouldn't take things as lightly if this was fall or the winter time. It is a beautiful day in its own way though, that's for sure. So it took me just over an hour to get back to the car. I'm not nearly as cold as I was expecting to be at this point, which is great. Nevertheless though, it was a silly thing for me to not bring my rain jacket. I know that is a critical piece of gear. So it leaves a lot to be said about making sure you have the right equipment with you when you go out into an outing. Because the weather can change in an instance and you don't know what it's gonna be like. I'm speaking myself here. So 
Rain jacket, absolute critical piece of gear. Besides that, I mean, the challenge was awesome. I'm definitely pretty hungry right now. I did not eat enough food over the course of that trip. I never dove into the oatmeal. Uh, all I ate was that fish and hey, caught a fish, ate a fish, pretty happy about that. So there's a lot for me to learn about procuring food in the wild, but you know what, it's a good start. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching, have a great day.